hello everyone in this tutorial I will discuss to you how to create a drop-down list box and a list box but before that please support this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and hit also the notification bell so that you will be notified with all the new videos And so like I said, in this tutorial, I will discuss to you how to create a drop-down list box as well as list box. So these are two different components where you can select one of the many choices. So for example, here I'm going to demonstrate this one to you. So let's say you have some fruits here and I'm going to select banana. And so when I submit, I'm going to take the value of that banana which is 2 so basically how to create this drop-down list and how to get the value you selected from the drop-down list okay so how do we do this one here so first of all you have to create first your page so in this case I created a page JSF page wherein the file name is index.xhtml so by default when you create a new project this is already there this index.xhtml so all you need to do is to put or place a form you just have to put the form so again I started as something like this so you have to type first the form tag and followed by your table so you just have to put your HTML table into something like this so that I started also something like this and I put now the rows and my columns so this is if you only want table okay so it is possible that when you create a form you don't need a table so by the way again this one needs a form because we're sending data or we're getting data and send those data to another page or simply getting the data from a form so something like that so in this case I already have in my first column this one here line 13 and on my second column first row I put now or I place now my drop-down list so to have this drop-down list you have to use select one list box so again the syntax for this is simply you just have to type less than followed by the H and you will see select or this what we call components so one of them is select one list box so there you go so that's how you do it Okay, so for me again I just type less than sign and then I followed it with letter H and all the components will be here okay so part of that select one list box is the ID you have to place these two ID and value so first you have to provide an ID for this component this is important especially when you put validation into your program wherein you will use this ID so simply ID means the name of your component so I just put a fruit here and then your value okay so this value you have to provide a variable okay, that you will use in the manage bin so the variable that you will use here is the variable you will place or you will put in your manage bin file so you have to remember that in JSF you need a manage bin file so that it will get the data from a form okay so so it's something like that so in this case I said get data this is the name of my manage bin okay? because it is possible that you will have more than one manage bin so you have to make sure that you are using the correct manage bin so the name or the file name of the manage bin I'm going to use is get 
data as in capital D. So as you as you know from my previous video, so you just have to follow the syntax here. Okay? So pound sign, open curly bracket, and then inside will be the name of your managed bean that your variable. Okay, so I just use fruit. So the same with my ID. There is no problem if they are the same. There is no also no problem if they are not the same. Just make sure that in your manage bin, the variable you will use here is the one you will declare. As you can see here, this is my manage bin here, the middle part. So as you can see there, fruit. So private string fruit. Okay. So I just use the same variable for my ID and my value so that they will just be the same. And then when you put size one, okay, it automatically create for you drop down list box something like this. If it is more than one, let's say you put here three or four, it automatically create a list box. So for instance, I'm going to change this to let's say three. I'm going to save. Okay, so let's refresh this one here. So as you can see, it is now a drop-down list box. Okay, so that's how it is. So if it is one, it's automatically drop-down list. And if it is more than one, the size is, it will become a list box. Now, for the choices, you just have to use select item. But using the XML NS uh, name that is F, Okay, so you just have to use the F. So again, F colon, then you can just use or find the component that you need. So in this case, select item. Okay, so for one list box, so you just have to use select item for your choices. And then followed by that is item value. The item value uh, specifies the value for the choice. That you will make so if you select apple the value for that apple is one so you can have your own value here but in this example i just use one so this means that if i select banana when i get the value when i submit the data so the data that i will get is two or something like that and then you just have to use item label for your option or choice so in this case we have four choices apple banana strawberry orange so you just have to be careful with your attribute here item label it should be capital L and item value you have to use a capital V for the value so item value so you just have to take note also that there is an ending select one list box tag here now just because this is the uh, only component that I'm going to uh, show to you or demonstrate to you or discuss to you so I already put here or I just put here my button here that's the submit button okay so when you click the submit button what will happen it will go to this XHTML file so this is an JSF file okay so again how do we create a JSF file so you just have to right click from your project new and then JSF page so when you click this you just have to type here the name of your file or the file that you want the file name that you want so in this case you just have to type output there is no need to type the dot xhtml because that is automatic so just type here output and then that's it click finish okay so what will happen again when i click the submit button it will go to this output dot xhtml also, along with that, when you click the submit button, aside from going to the output.xhtml, it automatically process your manage bin. So you just have to put, uh, just have to think that way. That when you click submit button, your manage bin will also work. So that means it will get the data. So something like that. So the data from your form, your manage bin will take care of that. Okay, so but however you have to make sure that you create properly your manage bin so in this case again how to create a manage bin file you just have to right click over here in your project new java class manage bin is a java class 
or manage bin file is a java class so you just have to click here and you make sure that you type the correct file name in this case it is get data so just type here get data it automatically put the dot java for you so just click finish and then that's it so you just have to have this okay so three things that you have to do one you make sure that you declare the variable that you used in your form in this case we only have one that is foot and so i'm just going to say private string foot okay i want it a string because uh, one two three i i want those as a string so i just make this data type here as a string okay so it's like that so private string foot so encapsulation is there after which you just have to create a setter and getter for this variable so if you have two or more uh, select one list box or combo box or list box then you have to have two variables so as you all know again this is automatic the setter and getter you just have to press alt from your keyboard alt and then insert key then you just have to uh, select here the setter and getter it's not here anymore because we already have but i'm going to show it to you so there you go so setter and getter alt insert from your keyboard and select getter and setter here because we only have one so i just have to select all this and generate so automatically it creates setter and getter for you okay so again i'm using netbeans ide 8.2 so this is easy for for us to code uh, whenever we want to create a setter and getter okay so simple as that we only have one variable here to get in our form so only one variable that we need here in our manage bin and don't forget to put at manage bin and at session scope and because you're going to use this too you make sure that you import the library so these are the library okay so just in case again you forgot your library so as you can see there is now an underlined red here or red underlined here so so all you need to do is to click on here and just select javax.faces.bin.session scope so when you click that that's it it's automatically or it will automatically place there your import or your library for your session scope okay so simple as that and then because like I said, it will go to output.xhtml. It is here in this file where it will or you can process now your data. So in this case, the processing that we will do is simply to display what we selected. So to do that, again, you just have to use your manage bin file, get the data from there, and the variable you will use is fruit. So as simple as that okay so you just have to make sure that spelling of your managed bin is the same with the file name of your managed bin which is get data okay so or your class something like that so okay so that's why when we run this program I'm going to refresh it when we run this program I'm going to select banana so it should give me two so you selected two something like that there you go Okay, so this is how we get the data from your managed bin file. Okay, so that uh, or something like getting data from your form. So all you need to do again is to do something like this. So again, also if you wish that your your value here will be not number, you can also put something like this. Say you wish it will be not number will be the same as let's say like this they will be the same so I'm going to save and let's see I'm going to refresh this or you can just run it again and as you can see when you run when you click this one so it will show again in your browser so let's say I'm going to select strawberry submit there you go you selected strawberry so item value that is the one it will get when you click the submit button okay so as simple as that this is how we create a list box as well as drop down 
list box which is you just have to put one there as the size and automatically it will become a drop down list also this is how you get the data from your form just always remember that you always need your manage bin to get the actual data and to display the data you need another JSF file or XHTML file I hope you have learned something new in this tutorial video thank you very much for watching and see you on my next one